Boy, John and Street Vibes, BB Prom is a tell like it is. Welcome back to another episode of Coaching Up. Today we're gonna go over Chris Harrier's 10 best exercises to build muscle. So someone said, do Chris Harry. Have you heard of Chris Harry? Chris Harry. I know who he is. I really don't. I'm still new to all this in a sense of like me really looking up other YouTubers. I've kind of China been staying in my own lane in a sense and pertains to things that I know and coach. And I've never heard of Chris Harry. I probably should have because he got 3 million subs. So we're going to go over Chris Harry's stuff and we're going to see if his coaching is optimal. If you listen to what he says here, do I agree? So, you know, 10 best exercises to build muscle. Let's see. Today I'm gonna to be showing you 10 of the best exercises that you can do to build solid muscle. Now the 10 exercises I have for you today were specifically chosen with muscle building in mind. Okay, so 10 best exercises to build solid muscle. I'm assuming it's gonna be for everything, so. And not necessarily building athletic ability, skills, or strength, although these exercises definitely do that. Are you well. watching and this of course, diet wrong? and progressional training play a huge role in muscle building, but aside from that. So diet and progressive overload will be the biggest factors in whether or not the movements that you do build muscle, solid muscle. I'm already seeing something going. All right, let's go. Let's keep uh, going. This list, in my opinion, focuses on the absolute best top 10 exercises that will build the most muscle and give you the most bang. I hope he's not going to do now, freaking... the best exercises for building muscle exercises because they recruit multiple muscle groups at once, allowing you to lift heavier and also tear more muscle fibers than a single muscle. Tear and more today, muscle I'll be showing you 10 All exercises right. that do that the let's best. Let's get to it. You're going to be building muscle, but you're going to be getting a full body workout. So full body. Okay, cool. So right after he says, uh, do you follow this list? He gives you an app to follow, which is fine. We're all selling something on YouTube. Everything that we're doing on YouTube is going to go back to our own businesses. So, you know, good for him. As long as, look, I can say this a million times. I don't care what costume you wear. I don't care if it's an added costume. I don't care if it's an enhanced costume. I don't care what costume you're wearing. As long as what you're saying is going to help other people out there who are trying to get to their goals. Majority of people who are out there trying to get to their goals are ones who need help. So ones who need help don't really know what they're doing, which means the majority of people out there are in that beginner level. So they need to know and understand things at a beginner level and work your way up. And those people who have been there long enough, who are intermediate and advanced, can tag along obviously and take a little more feed, but anybody can still use basic cues. Fundamentals are fundamentals. They stay consistent no matter how advanced you get. So as an advanced or immediate level trainer or athlete or whatever it is, you can still listen to those things from a beginner standpoint. So let's keep going here. What are the main exercises used to build muscle and upper body muscle strength up. in gymnastics and body weight training? The muscle up not only builds your back and your biceps, but your chest and your tri Okay, so I don't understand right now who the audience is for, but I can do muscle up. You guys like really? Not? Yes, I can do muscle up. Muscle ups are not easy. Muscle ups are also something that you're not going to be able to do very often or much so that you can build solid muscle. It's a very calisthenic workout. It's a very body weight movement to do. So if you're trying to build a lot of muscle, muscle ups isn't the workout to do. If you're a beginner, you're not even doing muscle ups. You're going to learn how to do a pull up to begin with. I'm already kind of off on this list. Like muscle ups. Like, no. Let's keep going through the list. And one of the very few exercises that engage all three heads of your shoulders. When you're doing the first half of this exercise and pulling, you're engaging your rhomboids, rear delts, lats, biceps, traps, and even your core. And as you make the transition from pulling to pushing, you start to engage your medial and frontal delts along with your triceps, your chest, while still engaging your core the entire time, making this a total upper body exercise. This exercise builds strength and muscle really fast, especially when you start increasing your repetitions. If you don't know how to do it, you can check out a bunch of my videos where I teach you how to do it step by step. Okay, so at least he has videos on how to actually do the muscle up step by step. Again, no, no, muscle ups, no. If Sorry. If you benefit the most from the muscle ups and all the exercises on this list, you want to make sure that you're using different grips and hand positions. Using, using different, different grips and hand positions. Position. An over under grip for doing muscle ups? Who are we talking to here? At least when you're talking like Athlete Next, we're like getting some really hidden the beginners. There's some really good stuff that Athlete Next puts out there that is for those who don't know anything about fitness, they can literally follow some things or do certain exercises, sort of. But again, we're looking at like this whole journey, people's journey to fitness and to building muscle. We want to start with the basics, like a pull-up. Most people can't do pull-ups, let alone a muscle-up. And then doing switching your grips? Come on, man, this is just nonsense. Now moving on to number two, in no specific order, we have the bench press. Look, bench if I'm gonna press. demonstrate a movement, like so we look at the muscle up, it's a damn near perfect muscle up. 
The guy's doing switch grip, over under grip, double over grip, double under grip, whatever his grip, small, narrow, wide grip, whatever grip he's doing, he's doing the damn workout perfectly. Put him over to a basic movement like incline, that looks like 30 degree incline barbell press, and we have zero time under tension. We have the weight just dropping down the chest and he's pushing it back up. So it's obviously something that's foreign to him. He's obviously a calisthenics dude. I don't know anything about the guy. So maybe I'm late to the party. Maybe you guys are like, yo, John, I want you to know that Chris area is all about calisthenics. I'm like, okay, cool. Obviously, I'm a strength conditioning coach. I can definitely tell he's all calisthenics. Probably came from a gymnastics background. But when it comes to like strength training in itself, getting away from the calisthenics, I can see there's holes in his compound movements. At least he puts it there as something that is going to actually help build muscle. But again, if you're going to demonstrate it, demonstrate it right for those who can't do the right movements. That's what you're here for. You're a coach. You're going to guide people, give them good advice, give you help to make sure that your training becomes more optimal. So if I need a visual on how to do a certain thing, you know that you're going to get that from me and you're going to get it for every movement that I do. Am I right or am I wrong? Like, come on. All right, if you want to easily create an overload onto your chest and triceps, a bench press is going to be your best bet as you can load up the bar as heavy as needed to easily reach hypertrophy. And to get the most out of your bench press, you want to be using different grips, but you also want to be using different inclines as well. Where's he drop? Oh, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's look. But you also want to be using boom. different inclines. Right to the bone. Well. He's not even demonstrating it right. Yet, switch your grip up. Is this going to hit different parts of your triceps? You, the wide, and then some of your chest. But if you're gonna train and move anything around to change the variable of isolation or the load is, it's gonna be more so on the incline. <sighs> This is, I don't know, man. Well, moving on to number three, we have deadlifts. To get the most out of your deadlifts and to make sure you're seeing the most results, you wanna make sure that you're using different grips as well as different. Okay, so if we're going to go over deadlifts, can we just say what the deadlift actually is? This isn't just a deadlift, it's a sumo deadlift. And the sumo deadlift is gonna do a lot different than the conventional deadlift. So this isn't just a deadlift, it's a sumo deadlift. Let's see if he explains. As well, try doing deadlifts, placing your feet in a wide stance, shoulder width stance, and a narrow stance. Why? Can we get an explanation as to why we should do that? Hey, if you want to, if you really, if you really want to do, you know, build some solid muscle, do deadlifts. I would suggest doing, you know what I'm saying, wide stance, narrow stance, and even more narrow stance. That's it. No explanation after that. All right, and there we have the deadlift, another exercise that's been tried and proven by many athletes and utilized by many sports around the world, not just to build muscle, but also to develop strength and power, making it a lot more effective. Okay, so we're looking at him do two plates and he's wrenching his back and we're seeing his shoulders, his traps are already over and there's not shoulder depression there. And then, I don't know, man. I do my best to make sure, like, am I doing too much? Like, maybe I should be pulling back. Maybe I'm giving away too much information. Maybe I should literally dial it down 60% of my actual information because I really only need to give out like 40%, not even, like 20%. Like, literally, I can just say the movement and why. Like, do deadlifts. It's proven to, to build strong muscle. There's so much more to that. Like there's so much more. It's not just the exercise. The exercise is the smallest part of the entire grand scheme of things. If I do bench press, am I gonna build solid ass muscle? No, not if I do one set. Should I do three sets? Should my time of attention be greater? Should my set be about 30, 45 seconds? Should I be creating more tension by having a longer set overall? Should I be training twice a week? Is progressive overload something I should be looking at or looking into? What about my diet, recovery, all those things? Why is it just, it's not the movement. If someone says to you, man, I'm gonna show you an exercise you could do to build solid ass muscle and call it a day, bullshitting you. They're giving you nonsense. That's not even the icing on the cake. That's like one of the smallest layers of an onion. Do this, and that's it. So I'm watching this guy do this right now. He's doing the movements wrong. He's not performing them right. 
He's telling you what to do to build muscle. He just gives you a list of exercises. He should have just said, here's 10 exercises that you should do that I like doing. That's it. Next up, pull-ups. Now the pull-ups, pull in my opinion, is the best exercise that you can do. Didn't we just, muscle. okay, hold on a second. Didn't we, didn't we just have muscle-ups at the beginning? We just had muscle ups as the first exercise to do. Now we said there's no like actually like one to 10. They're not arranged in a certain way as the worst, the best, or best, the worst. It's just 10 exercises to build muscle. That's it. All right, cool. So within that 10, we already got two movements that are almost virtually the same. You have pull ups, muscle ups. The difference between a pull up and a muscle up is the muscle up of the pull up. So once you're done doing a pull-up, you finish with the muscle-up. So wh why is the pull-up even in this? Or why is the muscle-up even in it? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, am I wrong? I just want to understand. I'm asking you guys, am I, am I nitpicking or does this kind of make no sense? Like, all right, guys, I'm going to show you 10 of the best moves to do. First, you're going to do push-ups. All right, dope. Next, you're going to do clap push-ups. All right, sweet. And then another movement you can do is you're going to do behind the back clap push-ups with one hand. We just did three different variations of push-ups. You know what I mean? So most people are going to show you what they're good at. They're going to emphasize things they're really good at doing. We watched his pull-up and his muscle-up. Pull-up is damn near again perfect. Perfect pull-up. You can tell this guy is, easily does muscle-ups, pull-ups, anything calisthenic-wise. The guy can do it and dominate it. Obviously, give him a bar. He looks like he's out of his place. But he's going to tell you what to do. Is he wrong, though? No, in certain movements. Deadlifts are great movements to do to build muscle. So are your barbell movements. Your compound movements are great movements for building muscle. Your calisthenic movements are gonna help for building that first bit of muscle, but after that, you're gonna have to actually put more of a load onto it. And doing that with muscle ups is gonna be pretty hard for a lot of you guys out there. Just saying. Let's keep going. Boys. Rear delts, lats, biceps, and even your core. My man's getting this. This is a. All right. This is a pull up. This is a pull up to his stomach. God damn it. Back workout. And you can even add weight to your body with a weight vest or belt to further increase the overload. And it's another exercise used by professional athletes all around the world. You can use different pull up variations from the absolute start of your fitness journey, starting off with Australian pull ups that absolutely anybody can so, do. So, Elise is giving us some moves you can do for those who are just starting out, which is good. Great, I like that. Again, when it comes down to it, pull-ups, most people can't do pull-ups. Most people can't do muscle-ups. So if you're gonna do anything in there, I would say do a pull-down. Or if you don't have that, then I would do those variations of pull-ups. Or if you have, you know, a TRX, some of that suspension training, you can do that to start off. Cause I'm always thinking more so of I'm talking to a beginner standpoint. Those people are out there trying to learn those who I know that when I'm training in a gym, what people can actually achieve. And if you go to a gym, how many people are you seeing doing muscle ups? Not many. And if you can't do a pull up yet and you want to learn your first one, you should definitely check out my video. How to do your first pull up and increase your repetitions. And if you're having trouble increasing your pull up reps, definitely check out that video. It's the same method that I use. So good. I like how he has something that's there for you guys to go. You know, that's good. That is great. My thing is as a coach, you should be able to perform that movement like it's perfect because you are the professional. So you should be showing the person how to do certain things and be professional at it. But if you're not doing the movements right, and that person's watching you, they're gonna watch. That's what people in the gym looking around. Hey man, is that person doing it right? Yeah, is that person doing it right? And they're trying to like kind of see engage if they're doing the same thing. All right, that guy's doing the same thing. And that girl's doing the same thing when it comes to pull-ups. So I'm gonna try and do the same thing. All right, cool. That's what we do. That's what most people do when they're in the gym. They look at other people to see what they're doing, to see if they're doing it right. They need a visual. So if you're showing someone a visual and not showing them right, they're gonna do what you're doing and then doing it wrong and then they get injured. Because most of the time we're looking at doing bench press or deadlifts, those are the ones that most people get hurt doing. Keep going. The variations always get harder, allowing you to increase more of it. Who the heck is doing? God damn. Sure that you can see <laughs> Now moving on to number five, you have handstand push-ups. <laughs> to get the best out of your handstand, you want to use a different Handstand push-up. How many people can do a handstand, period? Now, how many people can do a handstand for more than a, a half a second? Listen, when it comes to genetics, it comes to elite athletes, two standard deviations, I tell you right now, there ain't not many people on the outside of that that are doing handstand push-ups. Who is this guy? Come on, Chris. I can't do a handstand push-up. Guess what I can do though? I can do an overhead barbell press. I can do dumbbell seated shoulder press. I can do a lot more other things to build muscles in my shoulders than trying to balance and do a push-up. 
Are you out of your mind? Like, who's he talking to? CrossFit athletes? I can't agree with this. I'm sorry. This is no, it's not because you can't put that much of a load to build big ass muscles when you're doing push ups. How are you going to add more to the load? What are you gonna do? Put on ankle weights or have somebody push on to your, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm passionate when I talk. I'm almost like a talent. Come on, guys. Oh, come on. Hey, what is this? Come on. What? That's, this, that's what they're doing this thing. Hey, hand talker. Because I get passionate about this stuff. Don't do handstand push-ups. All right, the handstand push-up, definitely the best exercise for building muscle in your shoulders. No, it's not. The handstand push-up is not the best exercise to build shoulder muscles. You want big ass shoulders? Do military press, barbell press, dumbbell press, machine press, any pin loaded, any plate loaded, whatever it is. Side laterals, front laterals, rear delt flies, there's way more there. There's way more things you can do without having to worry about bouncing on your hands and then doing push-ups. Sorry, Chris. Gotta go to the next one. Five easy steps. It definitely works. Read the comments. And of course, he has somewhere to go buy. His... Look, there, look, I sell training, but I'm selling you training that you can take and build from. Basic fundamentals that will give you the building blocks and the knowledge to be able to continue to build muscle, sustain muscle, get stronger, those type of things. I'm not gonna say this is the only way to do this because this is how I've trained before. Obviously, again, when it comes to calisthenics, this guy's all about calisthenics. Guess what? Calisthenics only brings you so far with your physique. Number six, we have clean and press. Now, of course, to get the most out of the clean and press. Okay, again, clean and press. And then master that. Once now, you when you put a bar in his hand, he's doing it wrong. How's he doing it wrong? That's not how you do a clean and press. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to go over how to do a clean and press in the first place. I'm going to start finishing coach. I've coached this for years. This is not how you do a clean and press. This is how you get hurt. This is how you get hurt trying to do a clean and press. Number one. Two, why are we doing a movement that is we just did earlier that is almost the same in activation, in a sense? Shoulders. Let's do a handstand push-up. And then here's another one. Clean and press. Can we just do a shoulder press? Please. This, this list can be cut in half. We got overlapping movements. What's next? All right, next we're going to do barbell shoulder press. What? Come on. When you're doing, doing some reps explosive and some other reps more controlled. No, this is not how you do it. And then when you actually do, look, when you finish the movement, your hands should be overhead. So your hands are beside your shoulders. Your head is right inside your shoulders, right beside the ears. The bar is over, pushing into your lats. Shoulder depression. I can go through all that, but I don't got time to go through all that. I'm trying to go through a list of 10 exercises to build big ass muscles, and it's like the wonkiest list. This is just like, hey, I know how to do this, and I'm gonna kinda make you guys not really see, I don't really know how to use a bar and anything, because it's obviously clear night and day difference of how much control he has when it comes to calisthenic movements, and then when it comes to him actually taking a bar, he has no clue what he's doing with it. This is how you get hurt trying to do a clean and press. First of all, it will be a power clean because it's coming from the ground, not a clean and press. <sighs> All right, there we have clean and press, a total body exercise, working your upper body all the way down to your lower body. From your shoulders. When he pulls the bar up, he should be pushing his head through. That way he's staying on his front anterior delts, and he's gonna end up injuring himself. So guess what happens? They're gonna be like, oh man, Chris said the clean and press is the best movement to do. I'm gonna do that after I do handstand push-ups, and everything's gonna sit on my anterior delts. And when I finish this off, I'm gonna go right to the freaking physio because my shoulders are don't worry about my back too, because I already injured that. I'm trying to cop him doing three different movements of deadlifts because they're all called deadlifts, but just three different stances. No, there's a sumo, there's conventional, then there's Romanian. And they all do different things. And guess what they don't do? Directly affect the traps, they shouldn't. But he said that. And easier to build muscle in your lats. Let's keep going. Now moving on to number seven, we have the push-up. This is an exercise that you can use to start your fitness journey and still use to consistently make gains all the way to Yes, push-ups. I agree with that, push-ups for sure. But again, didn't we just do barbell bench press? And let me guess, we're gonna like, you know, switch the grip as well too. And guess what? 
his push-up is damn near perfect. Like, I'm not gonna say nothing about that push-up. That is a goddamn beautiful push-up. That is a perfect plank push-up right there. The push-up definitely needs to be on this list with so many variations that can be done. Again, yes, there's so many variations of push-up, but guys, when it comes down to it, let's just get the basics done. Let's learn how to do a push-up properly first before we start bringing everything else into the equation. Push-ups will help you start off your journey to building muscle in a progressive overload standpoint, but you're gonna hit that place where your body gets used to and adapts to your own weight, and you're gonna need to put a load on. That's when you start going into the bench, or the barbell, or the dumbbell, which makes sense. I sound like I'm not agreeing with him, but I am, <laughs> this, this part. Let's keep going. Anywhere and utilized by a complete beginner with the very first progression, elevated push-ups or knee push-ups, all the way to harder progressions like the burpee, explosive push-ups, and full planche push-up, giving you so many exercises and opportunities for progressional training without ever having- Progressive overload. Still creating a progressional overload and building a lot- Just in case you wanna do these kind of push-ups, guys. Shoulders, Just in case. And, <laughs> and a lot of push-up variations that I've shown on this channel. I'm gonna, tell you, I'm gonna tell you this one thing straight up though. I'm not, I'm not bullshit at all. Listen, I know a lot of guys who are training who are calisthenic trainers a lot of guys and girls and circles and they have phenomenal physiques he could have just said here are some of the top best 10 calisthenic movements that you need to learn how to do they'll give you the best physique because it will couple that with a good diet progressive overload for sure calisthenics you're gonna have an absolutely amazing physique the control these guys have they're basically like gymnasts what gymnast do you know that doesn't have a great physique I know a lot of bodybuilders that their physiques are kind of off. I know a lot of powerlifters that physiques are off. I know a lot of athletes whose physiques are kind of off. Calisthenics, everything's balanced because their whole body is adapting using both sides, top to bottom, left to right, anterior, posterior, everything else. It's great. That's what it should have been. That's This list should have been that and that only. All in all, the guy's an absolute genius when it comes to calisthenics. He's an absolutely amazing athlete. His information is is good on the standpoint of, yeah, it's basic info that you should listen to in a sense of, yeah, you can build muscle doing the combo movements. But when it comes to following a coach and trying to get better at certain things, I wouldn't really listen to him in the sense of like performing barbell movements or anything outside of calisthenics because he's obviously really good at calisthenics. I'm just giving you my two cents. Follow some of these YouTubers with a grain of salt during lockdowns and everything else where you might need someone like him. And he is one of those guys that you would definitely flock to in a place where you got at home workouts. You don't have much that's there. You need to have a little more body awareness, whatever else makes sense. Anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Guys, if you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, and come on, let tell like this transparent, valuable truth for coaching. John If you want to open my coaching, guys, book a phone consult, 50 to 30 minutes. I know that consult. It's a one-time plan, or if you want to get a reoccurring plan, I deduct the console of any package that you pick, guys. Use my code Johnny15 for 15% off the Power 13 cookbook. Use my code Johnny for 50% off fitarmy.com. The shirts are coming out soon. Iron Shepherds, Iron and Muscle Masochists are gonna come out soon. We're gonna do some pre-orders first because again, these shirts aren't gonna be just bullshit ass shirts. Give some really nice shirts. I'm collaborating with Fit Army. If you guys don't know what their stuff looks like. I got some stuff, I'll show you guys next video, or just go on the site, fitarmy.com. Anyway guys, make sure you guys add me on Instagram, John and Shreve underscore, John and Shreve underscore, guys, send me your progress pics, food pics, update clips, whatever it is. Send me whatever you guys send me. I repost it for you guys, because you know how it is. Iron Sharp Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.